affirmations. Are the words you say to yourself, others say to you that you think about, act upon, and then it acts upon you. Whether they are good or whether they are bad. One of the stories we have in Chicken Soup for the Soul that is so wonderful is the doctor said I'd never walk again. My mother said I would. I believed and affirmed with my mother. Affirmations can take you up. Affirmations can take you down. The Bible says your words have the power to curse, put you down, or bless, bring you up. I'm asking you to be a blessing, to give away the blessing, to encourage yourself with affirmation, positive affirmation, simple ones that I wake up every day with, is I am healthy. Why not tell yourself you're healthy? And see that every cell in your body's got a little smiling face in it. Your whole spirit's got a smiling face in it. I am healthy, I am happy. If you don't tell yourself you're gonna be happy, the world's gonna go out of its way to tell you you're not healthy or not happy. If you watch commercials, it's gonna sell you on getting sick. It says, is this going wrong in your life? And it'll tell you to have preparation aids for your hemorrhoids or something. Don't get programmed wrong. You wanna be healthy, you wanna be happy, you wanna be rich, you wanna be abundant, you wanna be prosperous, you wanna be successful, you wanna be fulfilled, you wanna create a legacy that's worthy of you, you wanna have absolute abundance at every level. Let me just take you through some of the abundance of God. I've affirmed that I am abundant. It's your spiritual right. John 10, 10 says, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. The oldest spiritual literature, the Upanishads, the first line, out of abundance. He or she took abundance and still abundance reigns. There's fundamental abundance in the world, but most of us have been affirmed to take a vow of poverty because some religions, even teach you're supposed to take a vow of poverty. There's no poverty in the world. There's only poverty in consciousness. When you eradicate the poverty out of consciousness, you would eradicate the poverty. I'm here to end poverty. And we're doing even the anti-poverty dance where we say you've got to give 10, save 10, and invest 10. Ocho Rico, and we think it's gonna be more famous than the Macarena. What am I saying to you? Affirmation slam dunk work. If you add music to affirmations, yeah, they work better. If you add affirmation to visualization in your mind's eye before you wake up in the morning, before you go to sleep at night, works even better. It's up to you. Affirm yourself in a positive and correct way and go out and do new wonders.